Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ben, aka Notions. This is uh, a video update, and I haven't uh, uploaded or streamed a video for quite a long time now, like at least two weeks, I think. And I think uh, some of the uh, information I provided before was wrong. In the exact amount of time I've been without hard drugs because just found out that i haven't done hard drugs since january the 21st of earlier right at the start of the year so and now obviously it's getting towards the end of the year nearly christmas and that not far off really and so i'm basically about 11 months clean off heroin and crack But I am still on my methadone and I'm on 80 milligrams of satiatone satir satir a day, which I take when I get up at about well, between 9 and 12 at midday. And it does help me. It stops the uh, withdrawals and it, it just makes me feel normal, really. And I only really notice the effects of the methadone when I don't take it because I have gone three days without taking it before and that was a nightmare because I was sweating like my back was really sweating sweat from my forehead and I was shaking I was throwing up and had a bit of diarrhea at the same time it was, wasn't too pleasant to be honest with you but that was not as bad as what I've been through before couple of years ago with oxycontin aka well the, it, the proper the ingredient is called oxycodone hydrochloride but the drug i was first prescribed was oxynorm which were five milligram capsules so you should open and then i sniffed the powder or well, i think they were actually little beads like it's a bit like zomorph the beads you get in zomorph capsules pretty similar to that and uh the oxy was okay but, and then I got onto the Oxy 20s, the OC 20s, 20 milligram Oxycontin tablets. Mm. And I was also buying OC 80s, so 80 milligram Oxycontin tablets, which I was purchasing on the internet at quite a lot of money's worth. And I was also bossing an OC 80 and three OC 20s each evening on top of a lot of blues, talking like between two and three hundred milligrams of diazepam a day. Because I was getting quite a few at once, I a thousand at once for a very cheap price. And I used to make quite a bit of money on them, selling them in pubs and things when I went out. So I made a little bit of money on that to buy my oxys. And of course, marijuana, which I smoked every day for a very long time. And now I am not even smoking illegal marijuana. I only smoke CBD hemp, the buds of hemp. And I get this off a reputable website called gradedgreen.com. I usually buy between a, about a quarter or a half ounce at once, so 7 or 14 grams at a time. And I did get a half ounce of so a nice strain of it. Can't remember the strain now, but I think it's lemon cello or something that I'm speaking now. And it was only 69.99 in a Black Friday deal. So if I wanted to sell that before I smoked any, I would have been able to double my profits really if I sold it but by the gram, ten of a gram. Mm. Don't really think about doing illegal drugs all the time anymore, but it does cross my mind quite often, but not as often as it used to, and I don't have the same cravings that I used to have for illegal drugs. You'll find the longer you go without the hard and legal drugs, the better you'll feel, and the clearer your mind will get, and the easier it is to think, uh, and... Basically, the easier it is to function day-to-day -day without heroin or crack cocaine 
or maybe we would just say crack, but yeah. It hasn't been too easy. And it's been quite a few close encounters with going back to doing crack. But my mate offered me a pipe, but I, I refused it. And I'm quite pleased I did that because I could have easily relapsed on it not that long ago. But it shows to be a better man and not accept it, which was very difficult, but I did say no in the end. And it's obviously going to be really tempting. You fully know what I'm on about when someone else is doing smoking it in the same room. It's obviously going to make the ex-addict want the addictive drug again. And I'm still on a little bit of diazepam, but only 10 milligrams a day. Two yellows, which I take both at night. I also take trazodone, which is an antidepressant, uh, meant to help with sleep. 150 milligrams of that. Uh, I also take I take two beta blockers. One is by sleep for low, 2.5 milligrams, and the other is something with A. I'm a some, I can't remember what it is, but. Um, something amitriptyline or something, not amitriptyline by the way, and not that. Uh, what else am I on? Still eighty mil of methadone. I take a for over the counter uh, antihistamine hay fever tablet, which has sleep uh, aiding properties, which is uh, which is called phenagen, aka promethazine. Just one of these. I think it's twenty five milligrams for each blue tablet and this helps slightly with my sleep but the main thing that helps with my sleep is smoking CBD because it chills me out a little bit and it just makes it a little bit easier to relax and CBD isn't illegal it's totally legal to use and uh, I'm not sure but you might not be allowed to grow it in the UK I'm not too sure on the legality of that would have to google it but yeah cvd hemp isn't bad and the website i would recommend if you want to purchase anything from a gram up to an ounce uh it's gradedgreen.com and it is a uk site despite the dot com extension on the domain name and the, it is very good next day you will get it delivered next day 99% of the time in the UK, providing you order your bud before the 3 pm cutoff time. So, and, and I would recommend getting something like Star Dog, which is 23%, which has quite an earthy, uh, nice taste to it. Uh, amnesia, which is good. The lemon shelly that I'm smoking right now is quite nice as well. And, uh, yeah, just anything upwards of 20% really will probably help you relax quite a lot. So I'm going to end this video now, but thank you very much for watching. And I appreciate your support in the likes I get and the comments and the feedback I receive in all of my videos is much appreciated. And I just make videos mainly to help other ex or current addicts out to help them perhaps come off the hard drugs they are addicted to without as much pain as they might otherwise suffer. Another drug I used to be on is pregabalin, aka Lyrica, in the US. I was on 800 milligrams, so 200 milligrams, more than the recommended highest UK dose. And in hospital, they took me off this in just two days, which I think is well out of order. So I don't really like some of the staff at North Devon District Hospital in Barnstable because, I mean, in Moorland View, which is now just Ocean View, psychiatric department, mental health ward for people who have mental health conditions and end up getting sectioned, like I used to be sectioned for nine months, which isn't, it wasn't a very nice experience, to be honest. And I wouldn't wish it on anyone else. So I'll end this video now. It's nearly 10 minutes long. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot. Bye.